Koi and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about public transport, particularly buses. I'm going to tell you of the incident that caused me to despise buses. This is the lady on the bus story. Yeah, okay. So it was a perfectly normal day. I was gonna get the bus home from school with my pal and everything was going normal, everything was going fine. I'd sat down pretty near the front next to my friend and then we're about halfway to where our stops are. She's, her stop's like a couple of stops before mine. The bus stops at a stop as it's supposed to, you know, that's how buses work. And then this lady gets on, she has like 10 shopping bags, which I mean, it's fine. And then she walks on the bus and she's one of those people that pays for a bus fare in single pennies. Why? Why were these people even created? Have your money ready to pay the bus driver so that you can have a safe journey, it's fast for everyone else on the bus and you don't cause a hassle. And so this lady's standing at the front like, one, two, three, and we're all like, hey lady, 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 speed it up a little. So she finally gets on the bus, sits down behind me and my friend, and then a couple stops further down the road, I feel a tap on my shoulder. Did, did, did someone just tap me on the shoulder? What, what, what's going on? So I decide to ignore it. And then an even firmer tap on my shoulder and I'm like, okay, what the heck? Who is doing this? Why? And so I turn around and it's that lady, okay? It's that lady who paid in her one piece. And I turn around and I'm like, uh, yeah. She reaches over and fiddles with my earring. And I'm like, okay, lady. There's this thing called personal space, mate. She's like, oh, I I saw a pair of these in Superdrug. Did you get these from Superdrug? Uh, no. Oh, right, okay. Um, okay. And then she goes, oh, I have to fix your collar. What, what? And so she, just grabs at my neck and fixes my shirt collar and I'm like um meanwhile my friend is sitting there on her phone going what the hell is up with this lady and then she goes sorry sorry I'm German very precise just because you're precise doesn't give you the right to fix a 13 year old girl's collar and then she goes ooh I like your hair. I had my hair up in this bun thing and she grabs it, feels it back and she's like, very messy but very nice. Who are you to comment on my hair? I thought I looked fab as heck, it's messy. Who does she think she is? And I'm like, all right, thank you. Um, <laughs> and I turn back around and just sit and then, you know, it stops. I'm like, whew, this lady has left me alone. But no, that was not the end of it. Then, a wee while later, some yellowy substance, don't worry, it's not pee, starts dribbling down to the front of the bus. I'm like, it's that lady. I know it's that lady. It's 100% it's, it's that lady. Of course it's that lady. So I look around and see that there is beer spilling from one of her like 10 shopping bags dribbling all the way down to the front of the bus at this point it's getting on me and my friend's school bags on the bottom and we're like no we are not sitting here anymore so we move over and this lady is just sitting there completely oblivious to the fact that her shopping bag is leaking beer. Actually, I think I remember that she was sitting drinking a can of beer at this moment. It also made the bus absolutely stink. It was disgusting. 
disgusting. And then my friend got off, she got released from the hell. And I'm like, it's fine if I just stay away from her, everything will be okay. And then she starts talking to this other man who happens to be eating a packet of salt and vinegar crisps. Everyone knows having a packet of crisps is completely okay. But she turns around and goes, do you know what that can do to your heart? And the guy's like, um, uh, I, I, I'm, she's like, my late husband died from eating a packet of crisps. And he's like, uh, sorry. And she goes, do you have any children? Yeah, two, two newborn twin girls. Why? You realise you will ruin those little girls' lives. Do you want to do that to your children? At this point, you can see in the guy's eyes that he thinks this woman is completely bonkers. Everyone else on the bus is actually trying to stop from laughing because it's so ridiculous. Finally, I managed to get off the bus. I'm free at last. And that's the reason why I no longer like buses. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you next week, bye.